Hello and welcome to the Binghamton Rover Team's drone project. In this video, we will talk about the drone dimensions and specifications and the challenges we faced in creating our drone. Our drone is a conventional quadcopter design made from hobby grade FPV quadcopter parts. The drone weighs 1.166 kilograms, including all parts and batteries, meaning it will be registered with the FAA. In this clip, you can see the drone taking off on one of its first test flights in our lab. It has some issues, but the first test flight still remains overall successful. Here's more footage of another test flight in the rover lab. There are low winds indoors, so our speed and power are maximized during these test flights. Each motor has a maximum pull of 1,100 grams at the maximum current draw, and our drone uses propellers with a slightly higher pitch. This total thrust of 4,400 grams should be plenty for high speeds and maneuverability, and minimal losses if a dummy mass is added. Our battery weighs 228 grams, meaning total weight with a dummy mass would be 1,028 grams, where we would expect to be able to achieve the speed specified in 4E of the rules. The next footage demonstrates a flight outdoors, which has to utilize other aspects of our drone, the control and camera. The drone is 26 centimeters wide, which gives us 87 centimeter clearance on either side to pass through a two meter gap. The drone is equipped with a GPS module and a front mounted camera, which streams footage to a portable monitor along with GPS coordinates and battery voltage. This enables us to better pilot the drone, even if it is far from the pilot. We intend to use the camera to make it easier to fly between two posts and possible to scout the ground for air tags as specified in 4F of the rules. Our final drone footage is the actual view from the camera of the drone when it is flying. The portable monitor displays the GPS coordinates and battery voltage as previously mentioned. The drone was able to fly pretty well outside. However, our team has faced a, a few challenges following the completed build of the drone. When flying in the air around waist height, the drone tends to drift in different directions irrespective of surrounding conditions. Our team was able to tweak PID settings in the drone software to minimize this drift. Our team also noticed that the drone bounces up and down when hovering in the air, with the cause of this issue still unknown. We will continue to research these issues and find a solution. Our team is confident that the drone complies with most of the framework described in the rules, but more testing must be done to confirm drone speed capabilities. That concludes our drone demonstration footage. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in Utah.